H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Session, we're going to discuss what questions may be asked in the interview when you appear for a Selenium interview. The last session which we had, we discussed about some Java questions. Today, we're going to discuss about the Selenium questions which can be asked. Okay, let's see the first question. Okay, so let's begin. The first question which we have here is what are different drivers in Selenium? Okay, different drivers means which browsers can be automated in Selenium. We start with, generally, we write web driver, driver is equal to new Firefox driver. That is where we start with. Apart from Firefox driver, what are the drivers? You can write there, you can write, you can automate Firefox, you can write web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver, you can write web driver, driver is equal to new Internet Explorer driver, Opera driver, and Safari, Safari driver. So these are the major drivers which we automate using Selenium. Okay. What are different types of weights in Selenium? Now this is something very important, which is asked almost any interview you appear for. This question will be there. What are the different types of weights in Selenium? The different types of weights in Selenium are implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. So what are the differences between them? That surely will be asked. What are the differences between implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight? Implicit weight is a kind of weight which we implement to synchronize the execution of the code with the loading of the page. Implicit weight is a weight which is applicable to all the statements of a script. For example, let me show you. This so will quickly see where it can be implemented. So I'll be showing you some code snippets which have already been used somewhere in the discussion somewhere they have been used. So I'm going to show you some already written code. All right. So when you see this code, you see I've written here in line number 16, driver.manage.timeouts.implicitly wait. Implicitly wait here means this corresponds to implicit weight which is being implemented and this weight is applicable to all the statements which are starting with driver dot find element. Well, this is something which is important which you should keep in mind where it is applicable. Implicit weight is a weight which is applicable to all the statements in the script which are starting with driver dot find element. Wherever you are taking an action on the web element, implicit weight is applicable. So we have driver dot find element here we have write, written driver dot find element here we have written driver dot find element here as well so in this script at four places driver dot find element is written so this implicit weight is applicable on all these statements you can see here it is written 30 time unit is seconds so 30 is the maximum time for which this weight will be applicable when the control comes to line number 20 a 30 second timer will be started here Let's say the element appears in two, two seconds, the timer will be stopped and the control moves on to next line and another 30 second timer starts here. Okay, The control will wait for the appearance of this web element. It won't throw me in no such element exception until 30 seconds. That is what we have specified here. So let's say this element appears after five seconds. So the timer will be stopped here. The control moves on to next line. Right. So here again, a 30 second timer will be started. So all the places in the script where we are taking an action on a web element, on all those statements in all those places, this implicit weight will be applicable. Okay, 30 second is the maximum time for which it is going to wait. It is not that on the entire 30 seconds it is going to wait for one web element. It waits for a 30 seconds in total, that maximum time is 
30 seconds okay so if the element appears after 2 seconds it will stop the timer moves on to next statement since it is applicable to all these statements we just wrote it once applicable to all these statements this is called as implicit weight implicitly it is applicable to all these statements we don't have to write it explicitly one by one for all these statements write it once implicitly it gets applicable to all the statements that is why it is called as implicit weight all right that is what we have implicit weight let's see the code for explicit weight as well explicit weight as the name signifies is applicable only explicitly to one particular web element which we write it for for example this in the chat box is not enabled uh, okay, let me just see. Okay, this will be enabled. Okay, so I just uh, ask Rao if we can make it enabled so that you can type in your questions as well. Thank you, Susan. All right. So, what is explicit weight? Explicit weight, as the name signifies, explicitly it is applicable only to one particular element. Okay, unlike implicit weight, where it is applicable to all the statements you write it once, it gets applicable to all the statements. Explicit weight is written, is used explicitly for one particular element. You say, I want to wait for this element whose ID is this. I want to wait for this element whose X path is this, whose CSS selector is this, or name is this. Right? You can see here, uh, let me just un uncomment the code here, just a moment. Guys, I will request you all, please keep your mics, mics muted so that no background noise comes in. Explicit weight, you can see here, the explicit weight has been written here. I'm writing weight for this particular element whose X path is this. Okay, So what is this scenario which has been implemented here? Explicit weight is typically used in scenarios where we are waiting for some Ajax request or one element is communicating with this server in the back end and we are waiting for that particular web, web, web element to get a response. Okay. This particular example which has been created, let me show you that page, what has been implemented here. I'll quickly just copy this code. Okay, so meanwhile it opens. So what we are doing here is, okay, so it is opening, just a moment. Okay, so this is a page. Okay, this page is loaded completely. Nothing else is happening. When you click on this start button, this button communicates, it sends a request to the server in the background. That server responds back with hello world text. Okay, so the time difference which is there between clicking on the start button and getting a response from the server, the time for which we have to wait for that text to appear, that can be implemented using explicit weight. That is what we are doing. We are doing it with explicit weight. Okay. Implicit weight here will not work. Why? Because implicit weight works only till the page is loading. Implicit weight makes sure that your page gets loaded completely. All the elements on that page appear before you can take action on them. Once the loading of the page gets completed, the work of implicit weight is over. After that, if you have to wait for one particular web element, like here, we had to wait for this particular web element to appear. We were waiting for the response from the server we had to wait here using explicitly explicit weight. So what we've written in the code, we've written wait until expected condition. The syntax for explicit weight goes like this. Web driver weight, weight is equal to new web driver weight, driver comma 10. 10 means 10 seconds is the maximum time we're going to wait for that text. If that text appears within those 10 seconds, then it's okay. Otherwise, we won't wait for that. Then we've written wait dot until expected condition. We, we specify what is the expected condition. The expected condition is visibility of element located by. 
Okay, so we are saying which element are we going to wait for? We're going to wait for an element whose x path is this. So this text which you see on this screen, hello world, x path of this text has been copied using fire path. Okay, so you can see this is the x path of this text. That is what has been written there. So we are going to wait for this x path to show us the text. Once that text appears, after five seconds or six six seconds, so we are saying we are catch, we are writing actual text text is driver dot expect uh, find element by dot x path get text. Okay, so we are getting the text. We are specifying here till this point we are saying driver dot find element by dot x path. Okay, so we are locating the web element from where the text has to be taken. How do we take that text using get text method? So explicit weight is a kind of weight which is applicable only to one particular web element. It is not applicable to all these statements. It is applicable to one particular web element which we specify. That is why it is called as explicit weight. Okay. Now, the next is fluent weight. What is fluent weight? Okay, people know what is implicit weight and explicit weight. The place where people fumble is what is fluent weight. So let's see what is fluent weight. I'll comment this part of code and I'll uncomment this part of code. Okay, so this is a syntax for fluent weight. You can see here. Let me first tell you what difference is there between explicit weight and fluent weight, then I'll tell you the syntax here as well. Fluent weight is exactly similar to explicit weight in functionality. Okay, In functionality it is exactly same to explicit weight. It is also applicable to one particular web element. We specify, okay, we specify I'm going to wait for an element whose xpath is this or whose CSS selector is this. Unlike implicit weight, which is applicable to all the elements, fluent weight also is applicable to only one particular web element. The only difference is it gives you the control over polling frequency. Okay, you can control the polling frequency in explicit in fluent weight. Now, what is polling frequency? Let's see that. In implicit weight or explicit weight, we specified like an implicit weight, I wrote 30 seconds is the timeout. It should wait maximum for 30 seconds. In explicit weight, I wrote 10 seconds is the timeout. So during this time, when it waits for the appearance of the web element, like an implicit weight, I told you it is going to wait maximum 30 seconds for a web element. If that web element appears after two seconds, it will stop the timer and it will move on to next statement. So within those two seconds, what it does is, it keeps checking on the web page whether the element has appeared or not. So after every 500 milliseconds, this is the default timer. After every 500 milliseconds, the element will be checked by Selenium whether it has appeared or not on the web page. Whether this element whose ID is email has appeared or not on the web page will be checked. So 500 milliseconds equal to what? 0.5 seconds. So after every 0.5 second, it is checked whether the element has appeared or not. That is why Selenium is able to get to know. After two seconds, the element has appeared. It is time to stop the timer, move on to next statement. Okay. This is the default timer, 500 milliseconds. And this is called as polling frequency. Okay. How many times will it be checked? on the web page whether the element has appeared or not. That is what we call as polling frequency. We are polling the web page whether it is there or not. Okay. So this is the default timer for implicit weight. Same is the case for explicit weight also. For explicit weight also, the default time is 500 milliseconds. After 500 milliseconds, it will be checked whether the element has appeared or not on the web page. And the number of times it is checked in a minute, that is called as polling frequency. The difference between the rest of the weights and fluent weight is, as I've written here, it gives you the polling frequency control. It lets you control 
after how much time do you want Selenium to check for the element whether it has appeared or not. The default timer of 500 milliseconds can be changed here. Whereas you can't change this timer in implicit weight and explicit weight, in fluent weight you can change this timer. You can specify whatever you want, like in the code. Let's see. So what I've written here, I've written weight, web driver weight is equal to new fluent weight, web driver driver. with timeout 30 time unit seconds. So this is, I'm specifying 30 seconds is the maximum time which, which it should wait for polling every two, okay? So polling every two time unit seconds means after every two seconds, element should be checked. Don't check for the appearance of the web element after 500 milliseconds, that is the default timer. Check it after two seconds. That is what we are specifying here polling every, right? So this polling frequency can be controlled in fluent weight, all right? Then you have to use this line again. The second line is going to remain same, where we have to implement this weight. So we say this weight should be applicable. We should be using expected condition is visibility of element located by here. Also, we need to specify the X path of the web element which where we need to wait for. All right, so implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. Implicit weight is applicable to all these statements. You just write it once. It is applicable to all these statements. Explicit weight, as the name signifies, is applicable explicitly to for one particular web element. Fluent weight also is applicable to one particular web element. Plus, plus it just gives you a control over polling frequency. That's it. Otherwise, it is exactly similar to explicit weight. So that is what we have, three weights. Okay, what are the different types of weights in Selenium and what is the difference between them? This de question is definitely going to be there in the interview, difference between implicit weight, explicit weight and fluent weight. Okay.